Hi wrestling fans! Thanks for clicking on the Dreaded Heroes Report. What kind of news have I got today? News. Alright, uh, WWE US Champion uh, Dolph Ziggler wrote the following on his Twitter account about the impact wrestling between uh, Jack Evans, uh, Jesse Sorison, and uh, Tony Nese. It's kind of strange that the, <laughs> I don't know whether they're going to get in trouble or not, but uh, a few of the WWE talking about TNA, I don't know. Anyway, uh, Zach says, cool Ultimate X qualifier uh, match on Impact tonight. Evans does some pretty sick stuff. Tyson Kidd then wrote uh, that it was good to see his friend Jack Evans back on TV, and Gail Kim then chimed in and asked Kidd and, and Ziggler if uh, so she said, What I miss? And uh, she wrote, A few uh, peeps tweeted me about uh, Evans. Did I miss some good shit? And Ziggler replied, X qualifier was fun to watch. And seeing Lynn and RVD in the ring together was too cool. We'll see if anything comes out of this. WWE's new greatest uh, cage matches of all times DVD uh, will uh, be released digital digitally through Zoom. By the way, uh, July 26th, the, the digital version will only have about a runtime of an hour and 57 minutes. Where's the other three minutes? Make it two hours. Probably had to have some advertisement. Anyway, WWE's best of uh, WCW Nitro DVD continues to be one of the WWE's best sellers of recent releases. Uh, speaking through a translator, WWE referee uh, Rod Zapata uh, talked about uh, Sin Cara and said the following to uh, South African Times uh, live about the WWE crew being robbed earlier this week. He said they stole a sweater. This is what uh, Sin Cara, I guess, was saying. They stole a sweater and a t-shirt from a bag. I still like the country, but I don't like people stealing my stuff. Well, in that news breaking? We haven't reported it to the cops as our company is taking care of it. Well, they probably gave me a new t-shirt. Jim Ross wrote a following on his Twitter regarding WWE two shows in Cape, uh, Cape Town, Town, uh, Town, South Africa. Hey, it's Friday. All right, he said, we sold out two Cape Town shows Two nights in a row, two sellouts without changing hotels. He said, that's a deal uh, after a long flight. Uh, talking about, you know, not have to go from town to town to town like they do here in the States. But, uh, yeah, they got the rest for a while. At yesterday's live event in Cape Town, South Africa, hometown star Justin Gabriel worked the main event as he teamed up with Big Show and Randy Orton to defeat Christian, Alberto De Rio, and Mark Henry. Bret Hart was a special enforcer, by the way. There was some speculation about if WWE released second generation star Wes uh, Briscoe or not. So after his profile was removed from FCW website, Seth Rollins confirmed that uh, Briscoe's release uh, on his Twitter this week. Rollins uh, said he got released about a month ago. Damn shame in my opinion. Matches for tonight's WWE SmackDown on Sci-Fi includes Cody Rhodes and Ted DiBiase taking on Ezekiel Jackson, Daniel Bryan, Jinder Mayall taking on Trent Beretta, AJ Lee taking on Tamina, Mark Henry versus Kane, Uzos versus Slater and Gabriel Sin Cara versus Tyson Kidd and Randy Orton versus Sheamus in the main event. At a SmackDown show live in uh, Cape Town. Uh, earlier this week, Christian cut a promo before the match against Randy Orton and commented that the WWE crew had been robbed at the airport. He said, I stepped off the plane, my baggage uh, had been broken in two, you ripped off uh, the locks and you steal my clothes. This is what this country is all about. Shame on you. Coming out of last night's episode of Impact, let's go over to the other channel. Coming out of Impact TNA Wrestling, uh, here's uh, kind of how the final card uh, shapes up for Sunday's TNA X Division, uh, Destination X. Uh, let's see, old TNA uh, X Division title match is going to be Kendricks versus Abyss, X, uh, Ultimate X for the number one contendership. Robbie E, Shelly, and more, and Amazing Red all in on that. All right, just to throw this out real quick, I got some more news if I get through all this. In 1985, a little history, the first uh, WWE King of the Ring tournament is held. Tournament is won by Don Morocco. 
and only uh, uh, nine knockout match uh, uh, on the card sees Hulk Hogan defeat uh, Nikita Kola, or Volkov uh, to retain the uh, WWF title. I guess maybe that's, maybe that's the only King of the Ring match on the card. Maybe that's what it was. I think they only do have one King of the Ring matches earlier. Now they have playoffs. So anyway, here's some title changes that went on. In 1968, Prince Von Erich defeated uh, Chris Markoff to win the Texas Brass Knuckles title. And also in 68, Klondike Bill and Skull Murphy. I like that. Uh, defeated uh, Kentaro uh, Anoki, the uh, Michikai Yoshimura to win the JWA all uh, Asian tag titles. And uh, 1972, Johnny Valentine beat uh, Billy Red Lions to win the WCCW American Heavyweight title. Well, there was a lot of titles back then. Different brands. Uh, 1988, Kerry Von Eric, Kevin Von Eric, and Michael P.S. Hayes defeated Buddy Roberts, uh, King Parsons, and Kamala, subbing for Terry Gordy, who uh, wins the WCCW World Six Man Tag Match titles. And this was the final reign for the titles. They were abandoned about a year later. Uh, 1991, Johnny Ace and uh, Kent Kobashi uh, defeats uh, Doug Fernandez. Uh, let's see, Dan uh, Profi. I don't know. Anyway, it was in Japan, Asian tag titles. Uh, on 1996, on Nitro, Rey Mysterio Jr. defeats uh, Dean Malenko to win the WCW Cruiserweight title. In 2002, on Raw, Jeff Hardy defeats William Regal to win the European title. Uh, 2008 Tiger Mask 4 defeats Prince Divot in a final tournament in the IWGP Junior Heavyweight title. By the way, happy birthday to uh, WSX and XPW wrestler Luke Hawks, also known as Alderboy Luke. He turns uh, 30 years old. Alright, now the winners of the uh, X Division contract, by the way, there's a, going back to, I don't know why I got that right in the middle of the uh, TNA thing, the, uh, what I just read you, the history. But anyway, the winner gets X Division contract, Austin Aries, uh, Jack Evans, uh, Ion, and uh, Loki. Uh, other matches uh, on the uh, card's going to be Daniels taking on Styles, Kazarian taking on Samoa Joe, uh, Rob Van Dam taking on Jerry Lynn, open challenge for Doug Williams. I don't know why I had it mixed up that way, but anyway, I did. Nothing new. CM Punk is being advertised to face John Cena in a street fight next week, Monday Night Raw event in uh, uh, the Gardens, Boston, Massachusetts. The official website of the uh, Gardens writes, uh, don't miss the, well, I was advertised for that. Kim, uh, Gail Kim, by the way, responded yesterday to the report concerning comments she made on Twitter venting about the WWE Divas being underutilized, and she said she never mentioned creative team and feels the report blew her remarks out of proportion. How could that happen? All right, Jackie, by the way, over in uh, TNA, launched her uh, Twitter account. In case you want to check her out. Uh, TNA uh, World Heavyweight Champion Mr. Anderson and Hall of Famer Sonny are at being advertised to appear at the Can-Am All-Star Sports in Crystal Ball uh, on the Turnpike, Waterford, Connecticut. Well, anyway, it's Saturday, uh, 1 to 3 p.m. this Saturday. Uh, Wrestling Observer reports that uh, Hulk Hogan was overheard saying at last month's E3 Expo in Los Angeles that Vince Russo is to blame for the quality of Impact Wrestling. Hogan remarks uh, were in response to the fan telling him that Impact is bad. <laughs> and uh, Hogan uh, on the other hand, uh, or well Hogan was on hand for an event to promote the new video game Hulk Hogan's main event. So you got a new game coming out to you gamers. <laughs> I'm glad he pushed that off on, uh, now you know if uh, Impact was doing a hell of a lot better in the ratings and everything. Was, but he would take all the credit for that. But otherwise, it's Russo's fault. Thank you guys for clicking. Oh, it's not Bischoff's fault either. I gotta go.